Hello everybody and welcome back to the good old Wheel of Names, the classic wheel everybody basically uses for their wheel series. And today we're going to be seeing what we're going to be doing in the two box roulette. Wow, a classic already. Damn, that's insane. So, we're going to be doing Mob of the Dead. This is a absolutely fan favorite uh, map and it also does have a lot of really cool weapons in the box. Fun fact, the box for this map is actually pretty small. It's only like under 20 weapons. So, we could actually get like some pretty good weapons. Like, you know, Ray Gun and Ray Gun Mark II, probably a bit easier to get on this map than maybe some other maps. But yeah, hope you all have an absolutely wonderful time watching this video. And let's get into Mob of the Dead. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Uh, how do I do this again? Right. I have not played in two seconds. Okay, so we're playing this good old Sal, not the Goodman. Um, the only problem with this map starting out is um, it's this map. Nothing bad about this map, but like, eh. It's one of those maps where you play it and you're like, fuck. Um, allow me to sound. Up the voice a little bit more. I want to actually kind of hear them. Because, um. You need a. I want to be able to just pick up this and just go ham, you know? Okay. Hmm. There we go. Quickly, as fast as we can, to get these. Okay, cool. So, the one purchase we'll be making is, as always, whenever you play this game, the best thing around. Um. I think this is a door powered by electricity, yeah. So we have to afterlife for this. Anyway, I'm a little bit rusty, haven't played Mob of the Dead in a fair bit. So we do that. We do that. Do that. Yeah, no, we won't go too silly. Anyone else notice the portal thing? Go back to afterlife. And then I'll realize that the thing that happens every single time you play this game happened. Hope that works. The number one thing I hate about this game, uh, this map, is you can't use a key in Afterlife. I think if that was gone, like if you could use keys in Afterlife, this map would be a 10 out of 10. Oh, whoops, we forgot to grab it. But like the fact that you can't use the Warden's key literally ruins so much of the fun. Because it just turns into everything is a problem and everything is annoying. Like, nothing is allowed to be fun if literally every single time you try to do anything, the game just says, no, -uh, you didn't micromanage everything beforehand. Yet again, another reason why. Like, the setup phase for this map is so influential to how you play it that whenever you just can't progress because, oh, you didn't do the thing in the right order this time, it's just like, yeah, cool. It doesn't feel fun and interesting when, like, you make a mistake. Because it's a map where it, like, you just feel bad whenever you're not able to just fully finish it in two seconds. And that's why I don't really like BO3 either. Because BO3 has the same problem of, well, you didn't do the thing, so I guess screw you. I 
I do like this though. This unironically is one of the cooler moments. Because it also serves a really good gameplay function of allowing the player to get more points to set up further earlier on. And that's really important for this map. Ooh. Calm down there, boy. Jesus. I couldn't tell for sure, but I had a big inkling. Sometimes you just get lucky. Sometimes you just fucking get lucky. So the blunder gap. Very fun weapon. Now we'll quickly go and get our next item that we need. Please be like a Galil. Alsat, I guess we can take that. Not the best, not the worst. We have electric cherry on this map, so I'm pretty okay with this. So up there is the way to get to one of the areas. Just trying to think about how I really want to do this. Going to... Going through this way is probably the way I'm going to do it. Really don't like the LSAT though. Uh, just because of uh, movement. But in terms of, like, weapons, like, this is pretty S tier, honestly. Okay. Now, we could make it the Magma Gap, but I would actually rather have the, um... Blunder gap because the blunder gap with the with double tap is actually fucking one insane, and two insane. <laughs> um, so all we need to worry about is getting through that door, turning it on. Um, yeah, we're gonna do this. Um, how do I do this again? that on just make sure that everything's in order yep uh, and we can't do the key for that yet obviously so now we'll just make our way around again um, probably round through start the reason why I think people really don't like this map most of the time is because of the, um... The ways you have to get around. Um, am I lost or...? No, it's through here. Exactly as, 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 as I was saying. As, 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 as. It's so fucking weird being in a world where it's like, yeah, here's the blunder guy. <laughs> Happens every so often, but whenever it does, it's pretty fucking crazy. So yeah, it's two thousand points. Uh, I don't know if I'm really gonna go for the um, house retriever, but we'll just be in this room for a bit anyway. Yeah, and that leads to where we were before. 
He was one of the skulls for the free blunder gap, I believe. You can actually get the blunder gap and the acid gap on this map. Which is a really cool feature, I wish. Uh, like it's cool for maps where they have multiple weapons, uh, multiple variants, to be able to use all the variants. Does that say Godspeed? No, CD Street. <laughs> okay. Whew, okay. We don't really care about um, the dog, sadly, that much, so we'll kind of just do whatever. The really interesting thing is going to be where do we uh, play when we finish everything. Does it do something? Yeah, it fucks up the zombies. And eats them. I think it's a really good idea for the gondola to be 2k. Because it really does in, uh, incentivize actually like doing shit. Like this. And then you have one done. And you're like, okay, cool. Well, then that, there has to be more of them. Do I like kill another dude without noticing? Yep. The dog has in fact buggered off. Does it mean we get another one or we get two? Okay, we're just at two. What do you mean you're at the soup store? No, the real line is what do you mean you're at soup? The one, number one thing I always forget to do when I go after life here is I always forget to turn on electric cherry first. I'm pretty sure they literally have it set up like that because they want to make sure that you remember to do it. But I always forget. Yeah, 750. I don't like that enemies can spawn there. That feels way too cheap. Like, fair enough, but like, that feels cheap. Like, I'm gonna complain, but like, fair enough. At the end of the day. I think it's on this, uh, second lamppost. Yeah, this, that one there. Has the, um, skull on it. Um, only problem is right now is that we can't go into afterlife. Um, main thing here is that we get another part, we turn off. Yeah, we, we have a few things to do here. First is that. This looks like it should fit into something else. Holy shit, was that dynamite? Okay. The thing is, is like, with the 1500 points, it's like, oh, well, actually, it, like, it really does depend on, like, how many afterlifes you have, how you use them, how you optimize them, um, just because I like to do this typically. Yeah, there's definitely a shot there that I'm going to use. The red eyes of the zombies mixed with the, um, fireworks is actually really sick. Oh, nah, I'm gonna not reload. It's gonna reload for a second and I looked at my surroundings a bit more. Oh. Fuck you in particular. Um. The question is, is how long do we want to be here? 
Because if we do not mind, we can simply just, um... Do things a little bit simpler. We have enough, so I'm gonna do it now. That one. That one. That one. There you go. That one. Then we quickly run up to Jug. Turn on Jug. That's not Jug. That's Jug. That's fucking... Puff. Double insta kill, okay. We're gonna complain because that's useful. Just gonna complain because that's weird. That could have been a fucking bad situation. Game said, nah, I'll take pity on that. Get jug. Pray to God. So there's another part in here that we need to grab. Does I don't know what it is, but it's something. Ah. Don't know what it is. Ah. I think that one's cheaper. I'm not sure. Actually. My least favorite thing. There it is. Um. Yeah, this is probably my least favorite thing. If you do not unlock that fucking uh, thing and you go into afterlife here, it's the worst experience of the game. Okay, so eight, seven, four. That was weird. Okay. Um, and I think that's also... Hmm. Man, the Uzi on this map, though. Um. So, one of them I know is in the other area. I think it's actually better for us to just take the gondola up. Because, um... Going through there is good when, um, you're going to get the dogs. I don't know if we're going to get the dogs. We've done that, which means we have another piece, so there's two pieces. Did we grab this piece? We probably didn't. We shocked it, but we didn't pick it up yet. There we go. That's what we're forgetting. I knew we were forgetting something. Okay, so we'll build a shield, we'll have a shield, we'll be round eight, we have pretty much everything, everything we've done pretty much. 
which means the only thing left is to actually get us the um, points to pack a punch. It is nice that setting up on this map isn't too annoying, especially when you know what you're doing. Um, yeah, it's this way. Grab me that. We will buy that door down there at some point, and that's like the most we'll do for that area. Um, we're not gonna get the blat. Um, so we'll make the good old shield. And, yep. Cool. We now have everything pretty much set up. We're just going to go up there. At some point, we'll get double tap. Yeah. The only problem is when uh, the Panzer shows up. Not Panzer. Uh, pretty much, let's be honest, Brutus. I wonder how Brutus came about. Like, the name Brutus. Is this because of Brutal? We'll never know, except for we will, because it's probably a document that says so in the game. So, like, my name is Brutus, and I was a really kill dude, and then I was corrupted by the Dark Ether. But we're not really in the Dark Ether, but we're sort of in the Dark Ether. We're in, like, Purgatory Dark Ether. We're in the Purgatory. I love bullshit blazing. I love it when there's like a line in the middle of my screen. I like that the most. That's my favorite thing. Fuck off. And then... Yeah, going up there is a pain. A pain we will do at some point. Fucking get me out of a corner. Jeez, I hate map design. It's bad. Um, how do I do this again? Through here. Oh my god, everyone out. I'll turn you on. Of course, Brutus spawns in. What a cock. Fuck off. Are we forgetting something? Am I forgetting the Brutus is a pain? Let's do it. Come on. The, I, I don't like that top area. Like, it's cool because, it, like, it's a challenge, whatever. If I had a better, if I had a gun I was more comfortable with, I would be fine. I'm not comfortable with this gun. Probably a long while. I guess this is fine, honestly, at this point. Um, we'll just train here for a bit. Are we forgetting something? 
How beaten up is this yet? Not very. The only thing we need is double tap at this point. Just really make sure we kill these guys. The zombies on this map like wrap around you. Really annoying. The question is do I uh pap the Alsat first or do I pap the um Blundergat? We're gonna just get this done. Cause at some point you have we're gonna This is a good camping spot, but we're not going to be doing camping today, so there's no bother. First, we're going to get double tap. So then, shit actually does damage good. Okay, let's get all of you, and all of you, and all of you, and all of you, and all of you. Now we just need to do the rest of this round. The only thing that's annoying about... Nah, I think it's time to pack a punch. Pack a punch good, at the end of the day. It's a bit beat up. Spoon. Cross the plane. Now, yeah, I think we'll level up, do the LSAT first, which by the way has a bullet tracker on the gun, which I think is one of the coolest things to have on a weapon. So much crazier of a fucking idea than like the boat that actually happened. And this is that would have killed a man. I got it now, Weasel. I know what you did. You should have stopped this device. Something to make me hallucinate all this. What I don't think is fine. Yeah, I get it, Weasel. You can be damn sure you get it too. Soon as I wake up. The blunder gets so cool though that I really want to do that. What we could do is we could try to do multiple rounds here. So we get the LSAT done. Uh, and then we do... Not the LSAT. Excuse you? Are you telling me... Their Brutus is so strong that in three hits he downs you without any warning that he's downing you. No, that's bullshit. I ref... Great, I love video game. Love the dead. Of 
course I get the worst fucking attachment to you. God, this is so painful. And all of it all happened literally only because I was like, oh. I'll be fine. Uh, turns out I was not fine. Thank God for fucking zombie shield, man. Target finder, really again? At least we have this. We just get perked up now. And then we're fine, right? Like. Yeah, so I have double tap. Or jug, double tap, um, speed cola, electric cherry. God, this is a fucking trip. Like, I love the Blundergat, don't get me wrong, but god damn, this map sometimes with a fucking dis. So we'll be here for a second, we'll get the double tap. We'll also be here because we're going to need to do this, so we may as well just grab the parts. Is that another fucking Brutus? Really don't like this not doing the damage. No, I'm not doing that for even a fucking second. Alright, goofballs. You're in deep shit now. Right, it's just here. Because they're not assholes. Okay. We can do this. I feel great. I feel fine. We don't have a zombie shield anymore. We're going to have to get a new one. That is also fine. There should be enough to where we can get, um, speed cola. That's an asshole. Okay. At least our blunder guy is that much stronger too, though. This is called a veiling. No, this is a sway. Iron Swine Dry. You yeah, know, it's a veiling. Which means four bowel. Come on. I ain't afraid of you. Fucking the Red Room of Death.
Thank you. There we go. Um, yep, so one of them will be down here. And then we need to go get to the cafeteria anyway. You're not the final zombie. You're not the final zombie. So we'll get literally all our perks set up and then we will play the dance of death. So we need to go back up, quickly get our final perk, and then we will just grind points until we are able to get the pack-a-punch done. And then fucking yeah. It's always great having like those times where like you do like, you know, actually well on a map. Like obviously we haven't done everything, you know, dogs and all that stuff. There's like a lot of stuff. But like it's so nice just being like Why the hell do you want money anyway? Did that just take my money? It must have had the lock on it, but we couldn't see it. That must have been it. The game is silly, but it's not fucking stupid. Steam, right. Yep, now we make our way back to our good old facility, and we'll be good. And it does something. I should actually pay attention. I won't, but I should. Because one of them could have dropped a max ammo and then I'm not aware of it and then you know problems problems. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna start using the blunder guide a bit more because I have a lot of ammo for it. And it kind of absolutely destroys. So fun playing this map. The number one thing that's going to be sad is if, like, literally this uh, audio, like, this video recording isn't happening. Like, I, like, I press the button, um, but it would really hurt my, my happiness. No drop. Kind of rude. Rude to leave a guy hanging. Like it's all leaving a dog drying, so. Okay, let us do this. this 
this is apparently easter egg done as well we will just have to um have another person one of us be the weasel Let's get the hell out of here. so that's cool It's kind of nice not having the tomahawk and having to worry about like using the tomahawk every three seconds. I think what would have been the coolest thing for them to do is during um the uh bullshit have it be that um like uh Warz when Warzone had Alcatraz have it literally have the um the five items in the same place just as like a key little reference okay now we have the sweeper yes Awesome. Everything about this map is so thematically cool. Okay, let's fucking party. We have 69 on our sweeper. Uh, we have 69 on our first, and we have as much as we fucking need on this bad boy. This literally is the granddaddy Olympia. And we have the iconic duo. And we'll just blow everything up. <laughs> Even better. I want to see you exclusively die. There we go. Noif, 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 do do do. I love that song. It's like it's not the best, but like it's just one of those things where it's like, oh, that's cool. <sighs> Man, with this gun, they really knew what they were doing. I fucking love the sweeper. Like, the Vitrolic Withering is like, oh yeah, cool. But this weapon is just like, it's like, damn, you know, it's one of those weapons where it's like, you have a, this is a weapon of all time. The only problem is now, is that, like, it's not impossible for us to go down, but it is kind of funny. Do we really have to do this? I guess we do. I got it just deleted. Like, they didn't just die. They literally just despawned. That's how fucking powerful this gun is. Is it just despawned the enemies? Death by execution. You too. Oh. As soon as you finish doing what you need to do on this map, it does turn into a, just a map of all time, huh? I think I will just keep this out as the most ammo. Nah, we'll use this for a bit. The problem is this is going to not be that good for at some point. 
and I would like to use as much like nine thousand nine hundred and ninety fucking old school fucking like bullshits with that number. Ah, thank you, game. I love not having to work as hard. And the great thing is, is I'm just going to keep that uh, mystery box locked. It'll be a symbol of our two box journey. Oh boy, again. I do think that we could. I'm hoping, love of God hoping, we can get to like round 30 with, um. with this weapon set. The problem is, is Mob of the Dead is a pretty unfair map. But it plays to its own tune really well anyway. It's one of those things where it's like, yeah, but eh, you know? Because if I'm like... Because there's been maps where it's like, oh, I set up and then I only have one life left. But there's also been maps where I've set up and I haven't done a single time. And then like, you know, it happens. I think to keep it fair, if I get my perks back, then it doesn't matter. But if I die with no perks from like, you know, this point onwards, um, it's going to be the thing that says goodbye to this uh, attempt. I've definitely said things today. Jesus, the entire fucking horde is here. That is how this game works. Okay, okay. Let's go gambling. Twenty fucking zombies spawn behind me. Let's slowly reload this. Man, the fact that we got the sweeper is so freaking sick. It's like the number one thing. Like, if we don't get this, I like I I feel like I want to mentally end the series. Cause it's like, even if we die like on this round, and it's like, oh damn, you died on this round, really pathetic. Like it's still such a cool map, and you know we got a cool gun, and it's cool. Okay. Oh, okay. Able to reset. Just the reload of this weapon is fucking sick. Doesn't make much sense to as as to how m we have so many of the speed loaders, but remember when it was just cool that that was the warden's house and that was it. I remember those days. 
Now the question is, is do we want a meme? The answer is probably no. For a map that is this map, you it's surprising that there isn't as many parks as you think there would be. How long has this soda been sitting here? <laughs> It is kind of weird that we don't have PhD on this map. I feel like a lot of BO2 could have just like maybe not transit, but like dive eyes, obviously. Um, but like, keep the exact same guns, the exact same everything. Just add PhD to most of these maps, and I feel like that'd be really fucking fun experiences. Like it would just, it's like, it's literally the same thing. It's just like, oh, we have a new park. Mercy kill. Holy shit. Was that okay, that should be this entire round, I believe. Are we on round 20 already? I do very much love the point in the area of the enemy. And just annihilate. <sighs> okay. We are getting up there. I also like that the the eyes Glow. This is the type of weapon that I want to see in HD, but not bastardized like in BF4. The thing is, is there's so much grit in this that it would be nice to see things gritless, but in a nice, respectful way where they're like, here it is, it looks absolutely fucking gorgeous and beautiful. However, we're going to add some grit to it manually. Because in like BO1 or BO2, Everything has so much grit to it. It feels like, like World of War had a bit too much like polish on a few weapons, but like generally speaking, had enough of what I want. Okay. That was not a good spin. Spinning, that's a neat trick. Things that get Cody killed. Spinning. <laughs> explosives. I think it's in that order, honestly. Spinning, explosives, poor decisions. Let's go. That's going to be my shirt. If I am ever able to be popular enough to have a shirt, it's going to be called the To Die List. And it's going to be <laughs> and it's going to be spinning, explosives, bad decisions. Or like how I'll die. And the bad decisions will be like, uh, Deadshot Daiquiri. The explosives will be a grenade. And then poor decisions. I don't know, slap the BO3 logo on there. That'll offend somebody. Oh, no, poor decisions. Have, like, just max ammo there. We all know, we've all done that before. Oh man, but it's a max ammo though. Gotta get it. Gotta get that max ammo. What will I be if I don't have this max ammo with 600 ammo? Oh boy, max ammo. I love jokes. What is with the drops today? We're not running gobble gum. We fucking don't even have any. Jesus Christ, the game loves me. God, I'm gonna have to get a theoretical physicist to be able to analyze the game state to see if I'm cheating or not. I feel like I reference that joke too much for the no context I give it, but like, if you, it's one of those like, if you know, you know, dumb stories. Like, it's not anything like if you say it, it means nothing. 
Because it's like, oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> but just saying it is funny enough to me, at least. Hello. Were you planning on just hanging around? Oh, hello there. Man, it's crazy that I have the target finder. Shame that the only target finder I need is my eyes. Oh, it's about time that I get more Brutuses. Yay! Let's see what this is like. I like that you put the key in that. That is cute. I've never seen that before, but fuck is that adorable. That's probably where they came up with the fucking key idea. I would imagine 4BO4, Mob of the Dead or Blood of the Dead, was probably one of their first maps they thought of. Like, they were like, yeah, we want to do this other story too, but... And that's how they came up with the idea for the shields having the guns on them. But also, it's kind of like they, it really did seem like they wanted to make everything crazy in BF4, but like it just felt really flat. Because like with revelations and stuff, you have to have challenge with challenging enemies. Uh, but the way that they did the challenging enemies just made it feel like a lot less fun. I feel like boss zombies work for boss zombie shit. But not when you just like chuck them around in like rounds. Like Brutus's work, because like Brutus is like, oh damn, it's the thing. Um, and he comes out every so often. It's not like every round he comes out, but like specialist zombies and all that shit come out like every single fucking round. I've only really played nine though, so. I really like nine though. But I don't know if I really did because I didn't like really set up on that map. I had a friend do that for me because they're like, oh, it's BO4. It reminded me a lot more of Borderlands. Honestly, in the way that you play it. Because it was kind of just like, you do crazy bullshit, you level up. Like you level up your specialist, which is like, you know, leveling up your like crazy ability. Like, gauge with a mech and all that bullshit. And then you kind of just are like, cool, yeah. I do want to do Borderlands at some point. But the problem is, is no one does Borderlands in the way that I do content. Because everyone's always like, here's my one... Here's, I did a hundred hours of grinding. And then I edited it into this awesome montage in the first two... Oh, we're dead. Unless... It would be cool after a, a, a bit of time that all the... You don't get as many revive tokens. Yep, we'll play this out. We'll play this out. Hey, how about we not have you on me? Because I'm interested to see how this goes. Because at this point, like, I think it's good because it means, like, at this point, we are minus a bunch of health. So we'll see how this goes. But it's Rupio. Uh, actually, you know what, fair enough. The only, like, ginger beer, I'm a pretty big fanatic of. I really like ginger beer, but, like, my favorite is Bundaberg non alcoholic ginger beer. The alcoholic ginger beer is, like, trash compared to the non alcoholic. Um. Yeah, and it's like. Damn. Okay. 
it's kind of hard, like, it's hard to say, like, is this fair, is this not fair, whatever, whatever, because it's, like, it's what the game allows you to do. So it's like, is it unfair if this is how the game works and it's balanced around? But, like, I don't know. If I'm given, don't look a gift, you don't like, you know, turn the gift horse away when you ha it gives you the gift of the horse. Don't really get that expression. Like, what is the point of that expression, really? Stop touching my toes. Anyone down there? Right, we still have... I'm just gonna meme. To meme, I need to play differently. You ever have your brain, like, manually update itself? That's what mine just did. Legit just said, oh, if you want to do that thing, you need to do this. And I was like, oh yeah, right, fuck. I need to go the other way around if I want to meme. Fuck off. Keep my dead shot. <laughs> just as small as me now. Fucking debilitating humor. God, I'm good at movement and killing shit in video game formats. Oh, well, that's actually probably bad for me. There we go. This is some crazy shit, but I ain't gonna complain. Sal is just me for real, for real. Man, this is some crazy shit, but I ain't gonna complain. <laughs> me when I play fucking BO3. Man, this is some crazy shit, but I'm gonna complain. But yeah, I think it's all right. Like, I want to make that that one where it's like, yeah, it's all right to BO3 and then have all of the people be like, BO3 is actually the master child. It actually conceived me and it was God. And I'll be like, uh huh, prove it. And they'll be like, got me there. Let's activate the trap of death. Feel like it. Yeah, it's right. Fuck off. I wonder if you can get DMCA for something like that. Maybe in the future. Be a pretty shitty future though, but you know, we're already heading there. Where's the last zombie on here? Like, where is it? 
Woo, officially best map. Fucking sweep a dude. I'm gonna have to like go into a thing of like how many V vibes. That would be the way to balance it. My brain just said it. Um, so like in Rev 2, Rev 2 has like a revive system where you spend hearts. There's blue hearts and red hearts. Red hearts are like, you buy like the DLCs and they give you an amount of red hearts. It's like, hey, here you go, here's like a little extra. Like, don't worry, you just earn more, but like, here's like just fucking some to get you started, you know? Um... And that's what they could have done in this. Like, so you have three revives still. You still just have three revives, but you have unlimited blue revives. Fucking what is this always happening? The ability of maneuverability. I'll get killed. Like, I know the Vitrolic Withering is also good, but like, god, I just prefer the Sweeper. Okay, that's a problem. Be a problem for later. Well, yeah, you die in this story. Incredible foresight. Problem is, is Yeah, the problem really is just, like, it's so easy to, like, come back. I think I'll make it the next time I go down. That's just it. Because it's at the level of parody how easy it is just to do bullshit. I don't want, like, I know, oh, but I want to see how far, but yeah, yeah. But, like, it just feels cheap. Like, I know it's how the game literally functions, but I don't know, it just feels cheap. I like to go this way. Hello. Who the fuck made all these things? That's what I want. like part of some kind of machine. Tw 
28. But I will say, for, like, for a map, like, this is probably one of the more fun ones. Because as soon as you set up, you have, like, the Blundergat turn into the Sweeper. You just feel fucking great. Like, there's nothing quite like the bullshit of playing on this map. Huh. That means I have zero. You know what? That's nice. I'll probably die here. I'm going to revive myself anyway, try, and I'll probably die anyway. Yeah. Okay, cool. That was good. I'm just going to leave myself to die. But yeah, I hope you all had an absolutely wonderful time uh, watching this game go through. I uh, absolutely adore this map. Round 28 is, to, is where we got. Um, I'm just hoping everything recorded. It would be a real shame if I recorded this and it didn't actually record. Um, but yeah, hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day and we'll get into the statistics screen right after we die die. So, let's get on to it. Round 28. So, here we are with the good old results. As you can see, we have a new leader uh, obviously, with 20,000 revives, anyone can be the new leader. So I am hoping that in the final five or so maps that we have left, that we'll be able to beat this score, and then when we do the maps again, all the maps that have tied, so Ascension, Origins, and Doris B01, as well as Buried and Shangri-La, once we do all those maps again, I'm hoping to get a cooler retitling of um, everything. But yeah, for now, it looks really nice. Uh, it's cool to see some of the repeating things, um, you know, shown off. What guns, you know, obviously work, which ones don't. So obviously, like, oh yeah, the Magnum works. But, you know, only on certain maps where it's like, you know, like you have the Magnum, but I have this other terrible weapon. So then I didn't get a max ammo in time, so then I lose. Or like Buried, where it was just like, there is no ammo. <laughs> but yeah. Hope you're really, really enjoying the series. Uh, it is now November. We're getting so close to the end of the year and my birthday. So that's going to be really cool. But yeah, hope you all have an absolutely fantastic uh, summer or winter, depending on where you live. For us, it's going to be summer. For Americans, it's going to be winter. And yeah, getting ready for Christmas uh, at some point. You know, in like basically two months' time still, technically. But yeah, hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. I'll see you all in the next good old two box roulette. Goodbye.